live 24-hour news source continues. It was tough out there. Blowing snow, huge drifts, and whiteout conditions. It's all a part of what we've been dealing with around Greater Cleveland for hours now. Good evening, everyone. Well, you certainly don't just have to rely on us to tell you the weather outside is simply treacherous. Just look outside. It may not be getting much better anytime soon. Most communities have declared snow emergencies with many roads in the rural areas closed and impassable. Our Tony Gaskins is standing by in the thick of it. And uh, Tony, we imagine the best advice, as we've been telling you all day, is to stay at home if you can. That certainly was good advice for a day like today, Tanya. As you well know, as we both drove, drove in this morning, the snow was just too much to bear in most cases. And police can't stress that enough. Especially here on the east side, where the snow was blowing and drifting all day, the roads were just too treacherous to bear. This is how most of us started the day, digging out from under four feet of snow in some places, making travel difficult, if not impossible. It seems to be a little worse down here around in town than it was just before we got in. Yeah. So I didn't see any plows yet. Yeah. Okay. But uh, as long as people go slow, it's not too bad yet. Of course, I have a four-wheel drive. That helps a little bit. Squalls whipped up blinding conditions and speeds on the interstate today barely topped 25 miles an hour as snow plows went into high gear. The east side uh, still got some work to do, but we are ahead of it. Uh, we've got about 97 uh, units out there on the roads, and the snow ban is still in effect, and we're encouraging uh, citizens to uh, stay off the roads and give our uh, people a chance to, to clear them out. Along the eastern shoreway, abandoned vehicles stuck in the snow kept tow trucks busy. Cleveland Police are just taking and giving us the license plate numbers and the locations of the vehicles that they want removed from the shoreway. We're taking and pulling them out, towing them down to our yard, We'll give Cleveland all the information and they can take notify the owner where to take and pick up their car. With light holiday traffic, police are reporting relatively few accidents, but nothing really serious. Operations may help you. Snowplow drivers calling for more salt work desperately to stay ahead of the unrelenting snowfall. But in many places, it was simply too much too soon. Continue snowing, we just have to stay in. Continue fighting, we can't stop it from going. All we can do is move it off the street fast as we possibly can. Many roads were not even fit for walking, but that didn't stop these newspaper carriers who made the best of a difficult situation. And Tanya, the best thing about today's snowstorm is that it fell on a Sunday during the holiday season because traffic on the roads was a lot lighter than you might expect on a weekday. So there is something good about it, huh? Exactly. Well, what about rush hour traffic tomorrow morning? Are the roads going to be clear enough? Because obviously the crews are already pretty loaded up as it is. Yeah, well, the crews are making very good headway right now because the snow, as you can tell, has stopped falling, at least for the time being. It stopped about 4.30, and that was all they really needed was a big break in the weather to get a uh, get on top of the snow. But they think they'll have a uh, much of the snow cleared by tomorrow's rush hour. They don't expect any major problems, uh, but the trucks are rolling, as you can see, and uh, they're hoping for the best for tomorrow morning. Working around the clock. All right. Thanks a lot, Tony. Certainly. We can't stress it enough, and you've just seen it for yourself. The weather outside is frightful. It's horrible. Brad Sussman joins us now to tell us about how much more we can expect. Actually, things have lightened up a great deal over the past couple of hours. Winds have shifted around to the west. And you notice we put the radar over the county map. Geauga County, eastern Cuyahoga County, picking up some snow right now, as uh, is parts of Lorraine County, even uh, parts of Ashtabula County right now. Now, things have lessened up out there a great deal. Not seeing the squally snow like we saw earlier today. But nonetheless, we do still have snow squall warnings in effect for the rest of this evening. In the areas shaded in red, parts of Lorraine County, all of Cuyahoga County, Geauga County, Ashtabula County, the southern part, and also parts of northern Trumbull County. Now, how much snow have we seen so far? A bunch. South Euclid, 21 inches on the ground. Pepper Pike, 20 inches on the ground. Burton, 20 inches. Even on the west side in Bay Village, 10 inches on the ground. There is some relief in sight, and we'll tell you about that coming up in a little bit. Tanya, back to you. My gosh, 20 inches.
This has to be one of the scariest snowstorms I've driven. As I, oh, God, I thought oh. I was going to roll off the road last night. Terrible, just absolutely terrible. And for the five people that stayed home and heeded the advice of all the officials and all of us here at TV5, here's what it looked like out there today. Courtesy of our crack photographer <laughs> crew, photography crew, uh, they braved the snow to get out to shoot some of this video. This is absolutely incredible. Parts of the area have picked up nearly and over two feet of snow. Even in Jeez. the areas that don't normally get lake snow, like... Uh, Bay Village on the west side, they picked up a good dose of snow, up to 10 inches there. Crazy stuff around the city, but there is relief in sight. We'll tell you about that in a moment. This is what it's looked like over the past several hours on radar. The bands of snow coming across the area, lake effect, typical lake effect. Lake still sitting at 39 degrees, cold air blows across it and just dumps the snow where the winds end up. Right now the winds have clocked to the west. Looks like the lake effect snows will be starting to taper off as the evening rolls on. But we still got a couple of good chances of a few squalls. In fact, a squall warning in effect for parts of Lorraine, all of Cuyahoga, all of Geauga, southern Ashtabula, and northern Trumbull County through tonight. It's likely by 11 o'clock they might cancel this, but nonetheless, travel still treacherous throughout the area. It wasn't a balmy day by any stretch of the imagination. High of only 15, low today was 8 degrees. We'll be cooler than that tomorrow morning. Our record 64 in 1875 and we've been as cold as 8 below in 1983. Right now our temperature is 12 degrees. Barometer 3013. Wind out, wind out of the west at 8 gives us a wind chill of minus 1 and around the region no real balmy temperatures. Notice Toledo checking in with 6 degrees right now. They have clearing skies and when the skies cleared they lost about 6 degrees of temperature just like that. Parkersburg at 20, a balmy 27 in Huntington right now and still some areas of snow and flurries around the region. Again, those will be tapering off as the, as the evening rolls through. Through. In the national picture, we've got another storm system across the Midwest that's going to be approaching us and dumping more snow across the area tomorrow. It's not a pretty picture. This area of low pressure is what pushed the northwesterly winds across the lake and dumped the snow on us today. Watch this area of low pressure as it moves into the central and southern parts of the state. We'll be catching a little bit of backlash from this storm. While I don't think it's going to be as heavy, anything on top of the current snow we have is not going to bode well for any kind of traveling. Well, it doesn't look good, but to the west, high pressure is building in. We could see a break in the next couple of days. A break not coming tonight. You saw the areas that are under the squall warnings. We will see a, squ a few squalls tonight, some flurries too. Northwesterly winds dropping off to 10 to 20 miles an hour. Low temperature, 5 degrees. As for tomorrow, cloudy and cold with scattered flurries. Variable winds at 5 to 10. High temperature of about 20 degrees. As for the five-day forecast, it looks like this. 20 degrees tomorrow with scattered flurries. 26 on Tuesday. Wednesday, 25. 26 degrees all four day, on Thursday. Again, all four days. Got snow there and maybe a little peak of sunshine on Friday. Well, at least today you, got to, you were able to do the weather in your shoes. Last night he ran in here after his weather report in his socks to <clears throat> That's right. obviously but alleviate the weather. At the start of the weather cast, I promise some relief. That's right. The relief comes via videotape. We take you now to Hawaii. I think Thanks. today everybody needs to see this after dealing with the snow. This taken yesterday during the Aloha Bowl from Honolulu. I just thought everybody needed a little break to uh, see sand yeah. instead of snow. Yeah, I'd like to be there now. <laughs> I think a lot of people would at this point in time.